This is Iceland, a majestic, photogenic, and indeed an enigmatic place. Let me take you through the golden circle without wasting any time. Let's get to it. The first place is Alpha Spring. It's geothermal area. You could see that white smoke coming out of ground. But when they all get mixed, the green mountains, the black sand, and white smoke, it gives us that absolutely gorgeous view. Basically, it's a valley full of mud pools and hot thermal rivers. Because of weather conditions, I could not record, but they are right behind those mountains. That's the first waterfall. It's located at the very place where Iceland was formed millions of years ago. It was prohibited to fly a drone, but I did not know that it's part of National Park, since it's a place that they have recently added in one of those no-flying zone areas. An Icelandic photographer told me about that, so I just landed my drone. I had already recorded those shots. I had plans of recording a few different angles, but we must respect countries, regulations and laws. That's why I just stopped it there. The path you see between rocks separates Europe from North America. Here it is. Mighty Skogafoss, the most powerful waterfall at the southern coast of Iceland. You need to get permission from rangers to fly a drone up there. Once you get it, then you get to see those absolutely stunning views. This waterfall is quite close to Skogafoss and it's worth visiting. You get to see that miraculous view how sunlight is hitting the water and creating this beautiful rainbow and it looks absolutely gorgeous. If you turn your drone at 180 degrees, you'll get to see that river, which probably is ending up in the ocean. That you can see now in the back. Just to tell you, this waterfall has its own parking place, but you can leave your car back at Scoville Falls Parking and walk 10 to 15 minutes to get here. This cave is quite close to Vic Village. Not so many tourists go there. But I'd highly recommend it, you can go and if you're a drone pilot, why not take in some beautiful shots there? But be very careful about your drone, because it gets too windy and there's a possibility that you may crash your drone. I love taking risks because it gives you that different perspective. For example, in this shot, it was very, very close to that rock about to hit it. So, just be careful. We are heading towards Vic Village. This is Vic Village. You could see in the background that Vic Black Sand Beach. Let's go there. The beach is undoubtedly beautiful, but the ocean waves are ferocious. So be very careful once you're there. That's Rainess Dragon. I flew my drone from Big Beach because the other side is mostly empty in the mornings and it gives us the different perspective of it.
echo a drone pilot and want to fly through those rocks, my advice would be be attentive because the speed is really violent. Sometimes your drone may struggle in sport mode, so just be very careful. to those waves would not be a wise idea because the sea is really vicious, it's so violent, yet so beautiful. In the distance you could see that small peninsula, it was quite late, we could not get there, so I just flew my drone from here, but couldn't really get a lot. That's just a small hole in the rocks. I would not recommend flying a drone down there because the water is so ferocious and it's quite dangerous, not for you, but for the drone. You may lose your drone, so I would not recommend, but if you really want to, just be attentive. Geyser or the Great Geyser. It's located in this geothermal area in the southwest of Iceland. It erupts every five to ten minutes, so make sure your cameras are ready and you can get those lovely views. If you stand too close to it, make sure you're dressed up properly or you may burn yourself with this hot boiling water. The gorgeous golden waterfall. You need to have a license and permission to fly here. And if you have them, don't fly too close. The splashing water may get on your gimbal, which may result not in a good footage. I used MD filter 32 here just to get the different color of water, just to think about how golden water board would look like if it was blue. This canyon is remarkably outstanding, absolutely worth visiting place. The viewpoint is approximately five to seven minutes walk from car park. This place is not crowded at all. So if you're a drone pilot, just get the own drone. But must I say that it's difficult for some maneuvers because there's a possibility that drone may get hit with the rocks. If someone is with you, better to ask the person to keep an eye on the drone if you're so confident about your skills get down. It gives you that amazing perspective. I love to take race, so I like to maneuver around. Just it, it gives you something that not everybody can do. At the end of the canyon, there's a straight path that you could walk. If you spend 10 minutes watching it, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button, it'll help me to keep making more videos like that. Stay tuned, next part is coming soon.